If you're a psychic or intuitive, developing your skills and building a business with it. Here's something very important for you to notice for yourself as you are delving into this work, starting to work with more people. First thing that I really want you to explore is after you have this initial period of you practicing skill, your modality, working with other people, I really want you to start tuning into where the areas either in life or the types of people that you really connect with. I was recently connecting with a psychic medium. This person focuses on mediumship, connecting with departed loved ones. That That's their main modality. Now, this is something that I can do, but it's not something that I advertise that I do because it for me, it doesn't feel as natural. It also feels high pressure. I, I feel that I can do it, but it happens more slowly and all the little parts of it, it just feels like there's more going on and it's not the easiest area for me to tap into. Yet, when I talk to this person, they just, they've been hanging out with dead people for years. Meanwhile, when I shared with this person, oh, for me, tapping into love, especially tapping into business, somebody's career or life purpose, where it's going, if they're on the right track, strategy with business, all of that, super easy to tap into. I don't feel any pressure about it. I don't feel emotional upheaval. I don't have mind drama about, am I giving them good advice? Are these messages landing with them? I just tune in, share the information, work with them to make sure they understand the message being conveyed. As we were talking, we realized the areas that have pressure for us that feel kind of high stakes, if you think about it, there's enough people in the world who need these services you don't have to do the high stakes thing. For example, I almost never have anyone come talk to me about their health. Now, it'll sometimes come up in a session as a part of the whole picture of something, but it's not an area that I get excited about. But there are some people, they're medical intuitives. That's what people go to them for. So for you, acknowledging and honoring your unique inclinations, the, the parts of this that once you have a fluency in your craft, a fluency with your modality, the parts that come easier, that feel more low pressure, lean into those, specialize in those, and let, let yourself make connections with other people who have those other specialties. And then the, the whole world starts to open up and you start to really even further let your gifts blossom and let your impact in the world blossom.